Hi guys, this is another smart physics tutorial. Oh, I'm making an ad advertisement for my college. College of DuPage. <laughs> anyway, this is motion in B field. Okay. Um, so we have a particle, positive particle, that is entering um, a B field, magnetic field. And here there was no B field, and there is a B field here, magnetic field. So since it's positive, then the... Um, the magnetic field is going up out of the screen and the V is going this way um, let's call it Y positive okay so the the force is equal to QV cross B so the V here is um, going up put, put it with the other fingers and cross it with the with the B field, so V cross B, and your thumb will be pointing at the um, magnetic force. Okay, so as it's keep going up, it's gonna go like in a circle motion, and then it's gonna go down, go back. Okay, so here's the feet, the force here. Okay, all right. So they're asking about uh, what is the time required for the proton to re-emerge into the field free region okay so they want the time for the proton to get from here to here and go back okay so I don't memorize anything I just like differentiate each time so force equal ma okay and the force here is um, QV cross with B equal MA. And the A here is uh, centripetal acceleration, which is V squared over R times M. And the cross product, we can eliminate it because the sine of 90 degrees is 1. And the V here is always perpendicular to the magnetic field. So here's the magnetic field, and here's the... Um, the V, okay. So it's still perpendicular to it. Okay. Um. Q V B. All right. So let's get the R. The R is equal to cross the V's. So R is equal to M V. Um, B. Okay, so we can get the R from this equation. This is the R. We have everything here. We have Q, B, and M, and V. Okay, so now uh, the theta, like the angular displacement, is equal to um, omega R, omega T, I'm sorry. It's like the angular um, velocity times the time. So it's kind of the same as d equal um, vt, okay? So omega here is the same as v over r times t, okay? This is equal to theta. And if you look at it, the theta here is pi over pi, not pi over 2. Okay, so here it's pi, it's 180 degrees, but we're looking at radian here. So pi will be equal to v r t and we need to find the t so t will be equal to pi times r over v okay all right cool so yeah you'll get the time here and that's the whole question all right i hope you understand it and good luck